reassembly is easy. Just lower the board onto the platform. Put the screws back in. And the final three screws are done with the heat shield in place. Of course, before we do that, we're going to reconnect the power cable. And then the video, the four video leads. I like to use my thumbnail to push in the connectors. And we lower the heat shield into place and if you really are concerned about attaching reattaching every screw the, uh, the one here needs to be in place before you put the shield in unless you have a magnetized screwdriver And again, three screws to attach the, the shield. Everything looks good. And now, before the final assembly, reassembly, <clears throat> we're going to plug in the monitor and we will know right away if the repair was successful. And it was, because now we have video on the screen, although we don't have a signal from the computer yet. We can actually see that the power light is at least staying on this time. So at this point, we're pretty comfortable that we can reassemble the monitor and put it back in service.
And if you break a few of the tabs, it's not a huge deal because you still have five screws keeping the plastic together.